Hey, what's going on, hustlers? Your main man, La Machine here. I'm going to take you guys with me on a short trip. Um, so here's the bottom line. When you're wanting to make money as a retailer, if you talk to any pros, they're going to tell you the truth. The money is made when you buy, okay? The money is made when you buy. So you have to be able to buy right. You got to buy at the right prices. A lot of that comes from relationships, but sometimes it's just knowing where to go. And you have to constantly explore. Now, let me show you something real quick, what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be heading over to this place, uh, Restaurant Depot. And you'll notice I'm going to be bringing my... Um, my Pennsylvania certificate of exemption. And the thing about that is, uh, this is a store that restaurants, uh, restaurant owners, uh, shop at for supplies. And somebody gave me a tip because you guys know I'm in the food, you know, business snack food in particular is what I like to sell. So somebody told me, Hey, they got, they got snack foods in there. And, you know, for those of us who have a legitimate business, right, you have your your EIN number, your reseller certificate, all that sort of stuff that can get you into doors um, where just anybody off the street can't get in necessarily. So you have to try and take advantage of that way you can. So let's take a trip and uh, see what we can see. Now, you guys know I'm in South Central Pennsylvania, so um I'm going to be heading across the bridge, the Susquehanna Bridge, over into Harrisburg. And we're going to see, uh, hopefully we can find something good over there. A mile. Hustlers look like we're just about here. There it is, right there. Restaurant Depot. Let's get on in there and see what we can see. Okay, so here you can see basically the layout of the store, typical shelving, floor space. You got your frozen, you got your cold section. Sorry about the uh, about the video. I didn't have it. My camera set up as best as I would have liked, but hopefully this gives you just a little um, idea. You saw somebody going by with what they call a, a U-boat. You know what I mean? When you, when you shop at these places, you kind of just load up a, a, a dolly-looking thing. Um, I was looking at the prices on those chips. I can actually get those cheaper, so I wasn't impressed there. Um, yeah, I think here I was looking at more potato chips. You had Funyuns, you had Lay's. Those prices were not impressive to me. Um, again, I'm sort of just looking around, and I could all I could already see. I just. I wasn't going to be able to do much in my wheelhouse, which is snack foods, specifically potato chips. But at that point, I'm thinking, OK, let me just kind of go around and see what else I might be able to find. Now, there you're passing your coolers. I probably wouldn't be interested in anything in anything out of there, at least not for the business. Um, Yeah, just sort of checking stuff out. Yeah. 
Your destination is on the left. Just more floor space. Kind of giving you guys an idea of the, the general layout of the place at best I could uh, without looking too conspicuous. Cheeses. Now I'm in the kind of cold department. Uh, you definitely want to wear the right clothing to be there. Now these are things I really selling but here's something i would be interested in you saw that reese's peanut butter those planters peanuts i was kind of giving you a look at the pricing on that all right hustlers so we had our trip inside the uh <clears throat> restaurant depot um i got a couple cards these are the id cards this was my first trip in here so i had to get get set up And here's what I would say. <laughs> so my first impression was not very good. I think uh, it was pretty ghetto in there. <laughs> That's not to say that uh, it's not a good place or whatever, but it just was not run very well. Um uh, cleanliness was probably, I'd give it maybe a seven and a half. I didn't really get a chance to go completely through that because I got, I got orders to get out today and stuff like that. And it took like 20 minutes to get somebody at the counter to actually get me registered and everything. So not impressed by any means. Um, another thing, you guys know I'm into snack foods, particularly chips. Their chips, I can get cheaper, you know, at other places. So that was not good. And that's, that was the whole point of coming. But when you, you know, when you do stuff like this, what ends up happening is, okay, I came here for chips, but what else do they have? So like, for example, I saw this Reese's, uh, syrup or whatever that was i'm gonna check that out uh i saw a big planters peanut type thing but i mean these are things you could get at like costco or um bj's or sam's club these i didn't really see anything that overwhelmed me i will come back and take a better look um when i have more time to really go through because a lot of times what ends up happening especially if you're into arbitrage it's those one-off weird items that you find you never would have even known about and you find out okay there's money in that so <laughs> that was my take on it they are um in other locations so if you want to look at it if you have any information maybe you shop there leave a comment let us know and i'll see you guys in the next video